If you guys want to learn how to make a speed boost game pass in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a speed boost game pass in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the scripts will be in the description and let's get started. So first you want to publish your game, which I've already done. And then after you've published it, go to the Roblox Creator Hub, which I'll switch to right now. And then when you're in the Creator Hub, click on your game and then go down to passes. And I've already made one a speed boost right here. And then once you've made it, click on it then click on sales and item for sale and then put your price here. So I'll put 100. Save the changes, go back, make sure that it is 100 there. And then in, uh, I just put as a description increases speed by 10, but you can obviously put your amount. So once you're on your game boss here, go up to the URL and copy these numbers here. These ones at the very end, okay? And now back in Roblox, we're gonna insert a script into serve script service. You can rename this to speed boost game pass script. And then this script will be in the description, but you have to change the game pass ID. So local game pass ID is equal to, and then paste the ID that we copied from the URL. Next, create a variable for the players is equal to game get service players and then players dot player added connect function player and then we want to check when that character gets added or when they've joined so player dot character added connect function and character so this is going to run whenever the player joins and when they respawn uh, after they've died okay which is what we want because we want to increase their walk speed by 10. So local humanoid is equal to character, wait for child, humanoid. Now we have to check if the player owns this game pass. So create another variable for marketplace service. Oh, service is equal to game get service marketplace service. And now let's actually before we declare the humanoid, we're gonna check if they own it. So if marketplace service user owns game pass to sync and then the player dot user id comma game pass id oh, game pass id there we go then now we can put the humanoid um the humanoid variable in here and then let's just clean this up so next we have to say humanoid dot walk speed plus equal 10 cool so that is the entire script right here so if we go ahead and play my walk speed is instantly going to be increased by 10 because since i made the game pass i already own it so my walk speed is now 26 okay and then we can actually create a variable for this so local speed boost amount is equal to 10 and then just changes to speed boost amount cool so that's basically it but if you want a gui that can actually prompt the game pass then what you want to do is insert a screen GUI into starter GUI and rename this to whatever. I'll just say speed boost game or speed boost GUI. Then insert a text button and this is what the player is going to press for it. Speed boost right here. And then you can customize this. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'll just change the text and then a bit bigger and then just change the color. There we go. Now insert a local script into speed boost uh, or the text button, sorry. And we can actually copy over these variables here, except for the speed boost amount. We can get rid of that. We need marketplace service players and the game pass ID. So what uh, we have to say script dot parent dot mouse button one click. Oh, by the way, the script will be in the description, but it is optional. You don't need this connect function. Then we have to say if oh no 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 we don't have to do that sorry we have to say marketplace marketplace service uh, and then dot oh no sorry prompt game pass purchase right here then the player we have to create a new variable for so local player is equal to players dot local player then we can use that player and then the game pass id cool 
so this is going to prompt it but what if the player buys it when it prompts the like the thing on that screen they're not going to get the speed boost instantly they'll have to reset to get the speed boost but what if they've got a bunch of things on that character that they don't want to lose so to do this we can say marketplace service dot prompt pro, uh, game pass finished connect function and then you can see all of these things here so we're going to get the player who bought it the game pass id make sure this one is not the same as this one and then comma was purchased so we have to make sure was purchased is true because it said it's a boolean uh, boolean sorry so we have to see if they did purchase it so if player who bought it dot user id is equal to the player from the variable from back here dot user id and game pass id is equal to game pass id and was purchased is equal equal to true cool so now we have to purchase it and give them the speed boost so the speed boost we uh we can do it on the local side so what we could do is player dot character wait for child humanoid humanoid dot walk speed plus equal oh wait we got rid of that variable we should probably keep that the speed boost amount let's paste it over here and speed boost amount cool so let's play and if i click on this it's gonna prompt it but i already own it so i'm gonna quickly delete it from my inventory on roblox okay cool i just removed it from my inventory so now if i click on here it's gonna ask me to buy it and if i cancel it nothing is going to change because we use that was purchased so here our hook speed is still 16. so if we buy it you can see this is a test purchase your account will not be charged so if you test it in studio you can buy this and it won't charge you so now we bought it and it's 36 okay so there is one problem with this for some reason this happens twice so we're going to use a debounce so local deb or d we'll just spell it out debounce is equal to false then just add a and debounce is equal to false then debounce is true and after this task dot waits 0.1 second and then debounce is false i don't know why all of this happens twice i think that's something on roblox's side i'm not sure i might be doing something wrong but this is what i found works the best for me so let me quickly go and delete it from my inventory. Oh wait, I don't think I have to. I don't think it actually put it in my inventory. Yeah. So now if we buy it, boom, it's been all good. Now if we go to our humanoid, now it's at 26. And you'll see if we reset. Let's wait for us to respawn. And we go to our humanoid. It's at 16. Okay, so let's see what's happened here. So if the user owns the game pass id oh i understand why it's because it's a test purchase in roblox and you see when i buy it it doesn't actually go to my inventory but if i have to do it to test this i have to go back into roblox and actually fully buy it in the game um, so that's just that's just something on roblox because it i deleted it from my inventory and this doesn't actually add it okay so yeah that is it for today's video bye guys Thank you.